見つかっちゃった。Those words resonate deeply within Anohana. The reluctance to embrace the past, the struggle of admitting the loss, and the tsunami of emotions that drown you in sorrow. Anohana, the flower we saw that day, unfolds a narrative of grief and childhood trauma. The story of friends who lost everything. Anohana is an anime series primarily focused on the idea of friendship, not just any kind of friendship, but a kind emphasizing childhood bonds. Jinta, Menma, Naruko, Tetsuo, Chiriko. And Atsumu are all childhood friends from the same town. The six build a strong relationship like none else, going as far as calling themselves the Super Peace Busters. As they spend countless hours together adventuring and doing what children do, the six friends forge a deep and meaningful connection, relying on each other in the way that only true friends can. This enduring bond plays a pivotal role in their growth and development, fostering maturity as they navigate the challenges of life together. However, Just when everything seems to be going well, Menma, a member of the Six, passes away. In the series finale, it was revealed that the cause of Menma's death was an accidental slip and fall into a rushing river. Despite the unintentional nature of the incident, the remaining five friends harbored a profound sense of guilt. The events leading up to the tragedy were marked by a pivotal moment when Jinta, feeling embarrassed by Atsumu and Naruko's attempts to make him confess his feelings for Menma, distanced himself from the group. Seizing the opportunity, Atsumu confessed his own feelings, intensifying the emotional atmosphere. Menma, aware of Jinta's feelings for her, as revealed by Chiriko earlier, sought out Jinta along the river. Unfortunately, her quest ended in tragedy as she slipped and drowned. Tetsuo, witnessing the event as a child, was powerless to help. In hindsight, the characters reflected on whether any of the events leading to the accident could have been prevented. However, by the time they thoroughly considered their circumstances, It was too late. Menma was already gone, leaving behind a profound impact on the lives of her friends. With the emotional whirlwind in the moments leading up to Menma's accident, everyone's ability to process their thoughts were incredibly hindered, and their sadness and grief internalized. As their sense of guilt and remorse grew bigger and bigger. The bonds that held the friendship together started to become fragile. Eventually, the internal atmosphere overtook each mind of the remaining five, causing the relationships to slowly become lost. I think the intensive trauma that the characters went through, especially losing someone so important at such a young age, caused them to undergo emotional and mental struggles so much to the point that recovery seemed impossible. In order to somehow manage out of their sense of guilt, the friends decided that disconnecting their bonds would help bring the feeling of ease away from their traumatic experiences. But in the end, that was all just a temporary escape route. Deep inside, each character knew that something was wrong and that healing the wound would take much more than simply running away from it. But how were they supposed to fix what was once complete? Menma's true intentions shed a new light on the shattered relationships of the Super Peace Busters. Her return, while initially unsettling, becomes a catalyst for healing rather than a harbinger of more pain. As Jinta and Menma work tirelessly to reunite their friends, the series delicately peels back the layers of grief and guilt that have festered over the years. The process of reconciliation is far from easy. Each member of the group has carved their own coping mechanisms, and the scars run deep. 
The journey becomes a poignant exploration of forgiveness, self-forgiveness, and the mending of broken bonds. Anohana beautifully illustrates that the path to healing requires confronting the past, acknowledging mistakes, and finding the strength to move forward. It also highlights the importance of understanding that the process won't come easy. As the friends tentatively come together, sharing their individual burdens, they begin to realize the significance of Menma's wish. Her desire for them to remember her with love, not guilt, becomes a metaphor for the power of friendship to overcome even the most profound tragedies. The process is painful, requiring vulnerability and openness. But it is through this shared vulnerability that the Super Peace Busters find strength. In the end, Anohana depicts a journey of rediscovery. Not just of their lost friend, but of themselves and the bonds that once defined them. The series beautifully encapsulates the idea that friendships, even when fractured, can be rebuilt with time, understanding, and a willingness to let go of the burdens of the past. Through the tears and heartache, the super peace busters find a renewed sense of friendship proving that the ties forged in childhood can withstand the tests of time and tragedy. As the characters confront their pain and gradually find solace, Anohana delivers a powerful message about the resilience of friendships and the importance of embracing the past rather than running away from it. It reminds us that even in the face of heartbreak, the bonds we form in our youth can shape us, guide us, and ultimately help us heal. Anohana, the flower we saw that day, is not just a tale of broken friendships. It's a testament to the enduring strength of those bonds and the capacity for growth, forgiveness, and love. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and to please, please subscribe. Join the Discord if you haven't as well. Otherwise, I'll see y'all soon.